Shalom. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rahaha Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, pushing this doctrine of truth to the elect of the nation of Israel, who were scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, pursuant to the curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28. All right, I wanted to do a, a response to this um, video that I came across. It was in my feed yesterday. And um, it's a typical Yah Israelite who doesn't know the scriptures, who feel the need to make videos that are taken out of context and um, confusing people. All right. And even when they're corrected, they still want to stick to their bugged out, wicked doctrine. Right. Instead of, you know, when they're corrected, admitting that they were wrong. And correcting themselves, you know, they want to buck up against the truth when they're corrected. Okay? If I'm wrong, if I'm going off and I'm corrected, I have absolutely no problem being corrected. Okay? Whether it's somebody that's been in the truth 10 years or even 6 months. If I say something that's wrong or that's off, I need to make that correction. Okay? You swallow your pride and you humble yourself. But this bugged out Yah Israelite here wants to save the Gentiles. So I'm going to play a quick couple minutes of his uh, his video because these Yah Israelites, they operate under a completely different vibration. Okay, it's not biblical. And they're leaning on their own bugged out understanding of the scriptures and they don't understand the context. They don't even understand the narrative of the Bible. Okay, and that's the most important thing about the scriptures is understanding the narrative. The narrative doesn't include saving the heathens. This is all about the Hebrew Israelites. The heathens will come under order, the order of the Heavenly Father's uh, law, statutes, and commandments once the kingdom of heaven is established on this earth. Okay? Otherwise, the narrative is the same. And these bugged out Yah Israelites don't even realize that. Okay, these Gentiles being talked about in the book of Leviticus are Hebrew Israelite Gentiles. Okay, and we'll put this in the context. So without further ado, let's play it. Family, Shalom. This is your brother Yaquim. We're coming to you with a video. I want to show you how dangerous it is to reject the Gentiles. They have the same right as we do in Israel. No, they do not have the same right. You don't even understand that. These Gentiles are Hebrew Israelite Gentiles, not heathen Gentiles. There's a difference, and we'll prove that. So let me, let's go to Leviticus chapter 19. And we're going to go to verse 33, and it says, And if a stranger, if a stranger sojourn with thee in your land, ye shall not vex him. You shall not vex the stranger at all whatsoever verse 34 now watch what this is but the stranger that dwelleth with you shall be unto you as one born among you so he should be just like you the stranger that comes in and be numbered among us shall be as one born among us and thou shalt love him no you should hate him Thou shalt love him as thyself. So you see, you you keeping the second commandment, which is one of the greatest commandments, when you loving your neighbor as yourself, the Jew and the Gentile. For ye were strangers in the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. Okay, we're going to stop it right there. See that? Now, pay particular attention to verse 35. It says, ye shall do no unrighteousness in judgment. This is with respect to the laws, statutes, and commandments, right? Who are the laws for? Who are the laws, statutes, and commandments for? Were they for the heathens? No, they're not. Because they're laws that um, we have to honor that apply strictly to the Hebrew Israelites. Case in point, usury, which is interest. Are you allowed to charge Hebrew Israelites interest for anything? No, 
But can you charge the heathens usury or interest for loans? Yes, you absolutely can. Right? So this isn't talking about any heathens. And I'll prove that. First, we need to establish in the same chapter. This is Leviticus chapter 19, right? And it's funny how he just started at verse 33 to confuse everybody, right? To make you think this, oh, this is this has to be talking about the Gentiles. No, it's not. And I'll prove it. Let's go to Leviticus in the Blue Letter Bible. Maybe this ignorant Israelite doesn't, he's not aware of the Blue Letter Bible, okay? As far as, you know, looking up definitions and such, but that's neither here nor there. All he had to do was scroll up to the top to put it in the context, like I said, because this is what these Israelites fail to do. They don't understand context. Just like the Christians, they just pick up the Bible and just start applying words universally to everything and everybody. Oh, this is talking about the whole world. This is talking about the Gentile, the heathens too. No, it's not. Verse 1, and the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, and this is the point, speak unto all the congregation of the children of Israel, and say unto them, ye shall be holy, for I the Lord, Yahweh, am holy. Now, if those strangers, this is the same chapter he read, right? He read Leviticus chapter 19. This is what I pulled up. Let's scroll down to what he was talking about. He started at verse 33. And if a stranger sojourn with thee in your land, ye shall not vex him. Well, this is talking about in the context of the children of Israel. Because we were strangers. Well, let's just read down here, verse 34. But the stranger that dwelleth with you shall be unto you as one born among you, and thou shalt love him as thyself. You love other Israelites. You don't love heathens. For ye were strangers in the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. So you can't be boasting against strangers, Israelite strangers from other lands. Because remember, the curses scattered us into all nations under heaven. Right? And remember I said, ye shall do no righteousness. Well, yeah, as it relates to judgment, as it relates to the laws, the statutes, and the commandments. Now, let's scroll up here to Leviticus 19, verse 15. Ye shall do no righteous unrighteousness in judgment. To who? Thou shalt not respect the person of the poor, nor honor the person of the mighty, but in righteousness shalt thou judge thy neighbor. Again, who is your neighbor? Okay, these strangers are our neighbor, right? Let's go up to 19.10 here. And thou shalt not glean thy vineyard, neither shalt thou gather every grape of the vineyard. Thou shalt leave them for the poor and stranger, fellow Israelites, fellow Israelites. Okay, I am the Lord, your God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, not the heathens. Right? Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart, who's also going to be referred to as a stranger. They're also going to be referred to as Gentiles. They're also going to be referred to as aliens. Right? And we'll get that. See, you need scripture to support your bugged out doctrine, you foolish Israelites that don't understand the Bible. You are not on no level. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. Well, who's a neighbor? Fellow Israelites, and not suffer sin upon him. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. So who is the neighbor? Who are these strangers? The children of thy people. Right? I mean, this is, this is basic, man. This is basic. Basic knowledge. And that if you try understanding or studying a little more, you would understand it. Okay, so it's not going to fast forward or, or um, um, establish, you know, the context of talking to the children of Israel and then all of a sudden shift 
to talking about heathens. So what's the significance of heathens being strangers? They have, they have absolutely nothing to do with the Hebrew Bible, okay? When it comes to judgment, as far as, not judgment, because they're going to be judged, but what I mean is it has nothing to do with them as it relates to salvation and them following the laws, statutes, and commandments, okay? The Lord does not care. Now, he doesn't want you out there being wicked, and uh, mistreating heathens because the scriptures say get along peaceably with all men and we're supposed to do exactly that but again context 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 and more context you need to be able to understand who the subject <coughs> is <coughs> in the context in which it's being discussed okay now let's go to and I, i'm sorry i had to belabor the point but you have to do that with these bugged out Israelites because they don't listen. They get they get corrected and they still want to buck up against the truth and argue with you. Leviticus chapter 25 verse 35. Same book, different chapter. And if thy brother, if thy brother, if thy brother who are Israelites, these are poor countrymen, Israelite foreigners, be waxen poor and falling in decay, fallen in decay with thee, then thou shalt relieve him. Yea, though he be a stranger, wait a minute, I thought those strangers were heathens. No, he's your brother. Not one reference in the Bible or precept in the Bible ever refers to those heathens as our brothers or sisters. They never refer to as such, right? But Israelites can be called strangers or a sojourner, right? Right? Take thou no usury of him or increase. You can't do that to fellow Israelites, but you can do that to heathens. But fear thy power that thy brother may live with thee. Yaquin, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. Sit down and shut up and let the real prophets teach the Bible. Okay? You need to swallow your pride and stop being so damn haughty. And I get pissed off because I'm tired. You got brothers, our apostles and our elders of GMS that have been teaching the Bible for 30 plus years, 40 years, right? They know a lot more than you do, obviously, but you want to buck up against the elders that came long before your black ass was even on this earth, right? But you know more than them. You want to tell you want to show out against the 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 apostles and the elders when you should be showing them respect. OK, now they didn't come up with this doctrine or the, on their own. And that's all the more reason to respect the Lord's word, because the Lord endowed them with the Holy Spirit to get the understanding of these scriptures. But then you you new jacks come along thinking you ah, I'm going to usurp the authority of the real prophets. Right. And you're making yourself look like complete assholes. You're causing confusion and mayhem. Thou shalt not give him thy money upon usury, nor lend him thy victuals for increase. And this is talking about the Israelites, man. Let's go to the book of Psalms. Okay, and this is uh, King David. Does he ever refer to himself, or an Israelite, as a stranger? Of course he does. I am become a stranger unto my brethren. And who are his brethren? Israelites. Does that mean heathens? Hell no. And an alien unto my mother's children. So here it is. Again, King David is referring to not only is he referring to himself as a stranger, but he's also referring to himself as an alien. Let's say you, uh, Yaquin, you don't know what you're talking about, dude. Shut up. Let's go to the book of 1 Corinthians. Are Israelites ever referred to as Gentiles? Of course they are. Do you ever read the book of 1 Corinthians, Joaquin? Obviously not. Or maybe you just weren't paying attention. Now, this is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 1. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren. Who are the brethren of the Israelites? Israelites, not heathens. I would not have you ignorant. This is the point. Ye know that ye were Gentiles. Past tense. That means they're no longer Gentiles anymore because they know they're Israelites and they're identifying themselves as such. They're following the law, statutes, and commandments. They've established their faith 
and Hamashiach Yahawashai, who the world ignorantly calls Christ, right? They're calling on the names of Yahawah, Bahashem Yahawashai. They were carried away unto these dumb idols, and that's what made them Gentiles, right? They took on a Gentile state of mind, right? And it makes sense because a heathen Gentile can no longer be, can, a heathen Gentile can't cease being a Gentile, okay? They're always going to be Gentiles. But an Israelite that took on the, the, the state of mind, right, of a heathen Gentile can no longer or cease be, uh, can cease being a Gentile, right? Of course, if they return to the ways of the Heavenly Father, walk in all his ways, fear the Lord, establish their faith and belief in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, the intercessor, then you'll cease being a Gentile, okay? Then you can rightfully call yourself an Israelite again because you're not worshiping idols, right? You're not profaning the Sabbath day, right? You're not eating abominable food. See, these are actions or deeds, wicked deeds that make you a Gentile, okay? The Gentiles weren't given the law, statutes, and commandments. This is what separates the Israelites from the heathen. Carried away unto these dumb idols, even as ye were led. Boy, elementary Israelites. They don't know the scriptures, but yet they want to act like they are scholars. John chapter 7 verse 35. Because I did ask him to break this down, and all I heard was crickets. Let's prove that. Because I did comment. And I said, brother, you were wrong. These strangers, or Gentiles, if you will, are Israelite foreigners that were dwelling outside of the commonwealth of Israel. We became strangers due to the curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28. Heathens are never referred to as our brothers. Never. Leviticus 25, 35, and we've already read that, right? And he, pro he wrote, argue with the Most High. I just showed you the scriptures, but you don't understand them, jackass. You took it out of context. You just speak, you're leaning on your own understanding without understanding anything in context. You just showed scriptures that you are clearly ignorant about. You don't understand the scriptures at all. All strangers and Gentiles are not the same. Stop being proud and admit that you are wrong. You must understand the context of the word Gentile and stranger and when to apply them to the Israelites versus the heathens. And this is true. This is pretty basic knowledge, Ak. And he tells me, keep learning. So rather than saying, you know what, I'm wrong, I'm just going to tell him to keep learning because I want to save face. You're not saving face. You look like an asshole. You should follow your own advice because you are making an, an absolute ass of yourself. Try looking up words and understand the context. And this is what Christians refuse to do. They don't want to understand context. They practice replacement theology. They just insert themselves in things that relate or apply to the Hebrew Israelites. Now, this is what we're about to look up. What is the context? And I'm asking them. This is a legitimate question. I want him to break this down. What is the context of the word Gentile here? And he doesn't respond because he doesn't know. Then said the Jews amongst the, uh, themselves, Whither will he go that we shall not find him? And this is talking about Yahawashai. Where is he going to go? Will he go unto the dispersed? That's the operative word. This is the word in question. Dispersed among the Gentiles and teach the Gentiles. Now, this is talking about two different Gentiles. It's not the same. To repeat it would be redundant, right? One of these Gentiles is the dispersed and the other Gentiles is the heathens, the natural heathens. So the dispersed, guess which is the dispersed? Will he go unto the dispersed among the Gentiles, the heathens, and teach the dispersed? The Gentiles that are dispersed, the Hebrew Israelites that are scattered amongst these Gentiles, he doesn't even know that. This is why he didn't respond, right? <clears throat> no one could put it into context because these are those Yah Israelites. They call Yahweh Yah. They call them Ahiah. 
because they think they're on another level. And these, these jerks, they don't understand anything about the scriptures, right? And this is why they're going to be destroyed, okay? And this clown, spot on, word elect, they acting like Esau, carnal. Then think the so-called white man Esau, you can't make it up. Stiff-necked children for you. See, another ignorant-ass Israelite that doesn't know the scriptures. Well, you might say, well, it's okay to have a difference of opinion. No, it's not. The Lord says he wants to be worshipped in spirit and in truth, which means he doesn't want a, a, a half-truth, right, uh, to be disseminated amongst his people. He wants the truth being taught and preached, okay? This is a very, very big deal. This is a huge offense when you're not teaching the 100% pure gospel. And it's, it's funny how you have, you know, the, the prophets, and I'm referring to our apostles and the elders of GMS that came 30, 40 years before these clowns, and they taught the truth, but yet they want to buck up and undermine everything that they taught, <clears throat> right? Because they think they're on a level, and you're not on a level. You're making asses of yourselves, complete asses. Romans chapter 16, verse 17, for you Israelites that think it's okay to just, you know, turn a blind eye to uh, bugged out doctrines. Now I beseech you, therefore, uh, now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions. And when you are teaching doctrines contrary, that's division, and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned. From who? The apostles and the elders, those that came before you. And avoid them right so we did mark them I'm marking them with this video I'm correcting them right what you choose to do with this knowledge is up to you right But see because you're so full of pride you're going to continue teaching the same bugged out doctrine misleading the flock which is a very very dangerous precedent okay because this is not the time to be following false doctrines okay Lord just said it offenses contrary to the doctrine that means anything that undermines or contradicts what's written in the scriptures that's a big offense and you are going to be destroyed if you don't repent for they that are such serve not our Lord Hamashiach Yahweh but their own belly and by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple okay Deceive the hearts of the simple. And this is a simpleton right here, if I've ever seen one, right? Calling us carnal like the Edomites, when we're the ones who are endowed with the Holy Spirit, given the spirit of truth, to be able to discern truth from non-truth, from lies, okay? And this is why I did a response to this video, because he is deceiving the simple. He is misleading the simple. Okay, their doctrine is full of holes, these Yah Israelites. Okay, so Yaquim, you better repent, dude, and you should take this video down and make a correction. Okay, swallow your pride, okay, and admit that you were wrong and you don't know what the hell you're talking about. You need to defer to the prophets. Okay, and I'm referring to my elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Okay, I'm nobody's elder, I'm a brother teaching this word. Okay, but I'm following in their footsteps because they came before me and they have the truth. I can't disprove what they've already proven. Okay, through scriptures. They have the 100% truth. The Lord says, I will send you pastors that shall feed you with knowledge and understanding of the scriptures. You're not a pastor, you jackass. So swallow your pride, man. And repent. Shalom.